Welcome back, everyone, here to the fantastic world of Emacs. Today, we're going to be talking about something that might seem like kind of a, a boring topic, but it's pretty important. It was uh, something that I would look at first and foremost when I would be learning a new text editor. What you'll notice sometimes when you're when you're working in a text editor, you'll sometimes be typing along on the screen, and then your your text will just go off the side. It'll just continue off the edge of the page. And uh, you may wonder, you know, what's the deal with that? Uh, because uh, different uh, text editors present um, and wrap your text screen in different ways. And Emacs is one of those programs where you can write off the, uh, the edge of the world there um, until you've constrained your, your text in a way that you prefer. Um, so that's usually what I would do if I was learning a new text editor, I was trying one out, you know, you would Google, oh, you know, how to wrap text in Vim, how to wrap text in BB Edit, how to wrap text in, um, you know, Sublime Text or one of these other ones. Because some people, you know, maybe don't need to wrap text if you're, um, you know, if you're coding in something like JavaScript and you put in your own line breaks and you kind of organize it the way you want aesthetically, maybe you don't need to worry so much about it. But um, in Emacs, it's uh, something to consider because uh, people do different things in Emacs. And if you're writing long form documents like this one I've got here, this is a bit of text from, um, from Areopagitica by uh, John Milton. And uh, this is a good example of how to wrap text because we have these nice long paragraphs here. Um, I've only got about three of them here in this long from this long document. But um, it serves as a good example because we can do some things here. Uh, there are different ways of doing this. Right now, I have something called visual line mode enabled, but there's also auto fill mode. Those are the two different modes that I've used over the years, and they each have their, their pros and cons. So um, the difference between visual line mode I'll just write it up here. So you've got visual line mode and you have um, auto fill mode. So visual line mode, basically it does what you would expect. It, it does what's called a soft wrap, which means there's not hard line breaks at the end of these paragraphs here. So if you looked at this document in a, uh, a web browser or in, um, in a different um, another, another program, you might notice that these these lines will keep wrapping based on whatever the dimensions of your of your window are, and you know that might be fine for your purposes. For most things, I think that would be good because the alternative to this, and I'll show you. You see right now visual line mode. We we've got it enabled. So by running the function again, you see I just disabled it, and we get what I was talking about with the. Um, your, your content running off the, the edge of the world there. Um, so we could enable something like uh, like auto fill mode instead. Now let me show you the difference. So when, when we're using auto fill mode, and I'm just I'm just using Meta X there to to turn on these these various modes here. You see the fill mode is there. Uh, the reason you didn't see visual line mode or anything like that is I think because I have the diminished package running, so you didn't see any indication. But now if if we were to write an auto fill mode uh, so let's see, I'll just start, I'll start typing a bunch of gibberish. You'll see as it gets to a certain point where it starts to, to cut you off with a hard line break. So if you brought this into another program, the lines would be cutting themselves off there. And this became, this was the way I preferred to write because, um, so for example, if, if I do, if you do Alt Q, it shows you what your paragraph would look like with the, the hard line breaks. And this is, this is a variable um, determining uh, whether this, this breaks at um, you know, 70 characters or 80 characters, uh, whatever you, you decide to use. I forget which variable that is. Um, let's see. Uh, fill column, maybe that's it. Uh, yeah, okay, so fill column is the is the variable, I, it looks like I've got it set at 70. Okay, so at 70 characters, it will it will break your, your paragraph into this nice column here. So the, um, the, the benefit of that is you can have everything, pardon me one second. 
you can have everything kind of uh, always appearing in this, um, this exact length, this exact column. And uh, for some purposes, that might be exactly what you want. But um, as you see here, I'm in an org mode document. So let me just show you an area in which this can get you into trouble. So let me actually delete these at the top here. For example, let's say, I can get rid of this too. Let's say you wanted to produce an HTML document and uh, let's go ahead and export this to HTML. Export to HTML, HTML file and open. All right, so it should automatically open our browser here in a second. There it is. So now you can see, uh, get out of the way, what is this crap? Uh, so you see, now that this has been exported to HTML, because of the way this renders in the browser, you don't see any difference. If we look at the page source, um, this has this first paragraph has hard line breaks. The the bottom two don't. They just kind of go off the page. And when you, when you look at it in a rendered document, you don't see any difference. But now, just for some reason, if I took this uh, this uh, page source, let's actually do it without with uh, let's export it with just the body. So if I took this and I put it into uh, WordPress, for example, as HTML code, for some reason, WordPress will actually retain these line breaks. So these will render normally in an HTML page or post. These will have hard line breaks. So, and I'm not saying that that's like, um, that's a, a reason you shouldn't use autofill mode or you shouldn't have hard line breaks. I'm just indicating how um, in just one example with one program, with one content management system, you you have an issue caused by hard line breaks and uh, that you, you wouldn't have in regular HTML or in other uh, places. So I'm just indicating how um, these little differences can make a, um, an impact depending on where your text is going to be residing. If you exported this uh, this org mode document to something like um, like an open office document, uh, you know that would be maybe for print or for something else. It wouldn't matter. These um, autofill mode doesn't matter in that case because you're not going to see the line breaks. Uh, we can actually demonstrate that. So let's let's export to an open office document. Um, oh, pardon me. I don't have that template. Um, let me actually fix that. Um, there it is, styles file. Uh, we don't need that here. So let's actually factory settings. OK. That's a, that could be a preview for another video. I'm talking about a standard manuscript format for open office documents, but that's not what we're doing today. Um, so, so you can see here the first paragraph, the hard line breaks are not retained as they were in uh, WordPress or in HTML. Uh, they just, they're, they're irrelevant in this kind of document. So that's just another example of these, these little vagaries of, of text here. Um, so, so yeah, those are two different ways to do it. One of the one of the advantages, as I said, of autofill mode is that you you get to preserve these these line breaks so that your document you know reads in uh, this nice uh, formatted uh, column here. The thing with, with visual line mode is that it it, um, it fills up your window, so it, it could be easier for you to work with if that's the way you prefer to write. It's um, it's a little bit further across to read. You see, I, even me, I have the my uh, my Emacs base font kind of big, but um, you know, if if you were if you have this set to a few points smaller, you're going to end up with these very long lines going across your page. So that's an instance where something like autofill mode uh, is a little easier to read, I find. But you know, these are the pros and cons that you have to weigh when you're deciding, you know, how you want to organize your text. There are other different modes where you can like center 
your text so that it, it kind of um, it fills a column. It'll be a soft wrapped column like visual line mode, but you can actually bring in the left and right margins and it'll kind of center your text. I, I think Olivetti mode is um, a, a, a minor mode that can do that. Um, I think uh, those those are fine if that's exactly what, what you're looking for. But in most cases, I get along all right with visual line mode, uh, mostly because a lot of writing I do will end up on, on WordPress. So I'm kind of stuck with visual line mode. But in most cases, I, I like the options that auto fill mode uh, gives you. Um, a few other things you, you might note is that if you have um, if you have auto fill mode enabled and you're writing like, lists in org mode, you'll see that the the different lists automatically format at the at the character break as well. Um, so if you if you turn off auto fill mode, and you turn on the visual line mode, your your org mode lists will just kind of go on and on and on. And um, oh wait, did we enable? It is. Okay, um, so you, you'll see that these uh, these org mode lists are still they will still be recognized as lists. You can still treat them like that. You can move them up and down, but you'll see that they um, they don't look as organized as the as the auto fill mode ones do. The other thing you can do, as I as I mentioned before, you could hit Alt Q, and uh, whoops, uh, where were we? There it was. So um, even with visual line mode enabled for, let's say, paragraphs, you can still hit Alt Q or Meta Q, and you can you can fill your your list items at the character limit that you set with the, the fill column variable, and you can have these uh, you know these these organized lists here presented in the nice uh, eighty character uh, column as you had before but you can also retain visual line mode for paragraphs. So yes, you can kind of mix and match both, but you know, that's a, a few different ways of, of doing it. Uh, so yeah, but that's about it. Thanks for watching and I will get on out of here and I'll see you guys next time.